Hello, noble ones, welcome back to my channel. This is the Metatron speaking. Today we're going to talk about medieval hairstyle and fantasy hairstyle for LARPers and reenactors. Alright then, now, obviously I've got really long hair. I haven't cut my hair for, I think, two and a half years roughly speaking. So whenever I join a medieval event, whether it be reenactment or occasionally also LARP, uh, event, LARP events, um, I, t I like um, taking care of my hair considering some hairstyles to kind of fit in more properly with the character that I am presenting. So in my case I use mostly um, three styles and today I'd like to discuss these. The first one I call the knight style, the second one I call the viking style and the third one is the elven style. So let's examine these. Alright, for the first one, the knight look is what you actually see now, so please you have to imagine me wearing plate armour. I don't have my armours here with me because I'm moving home and they are already at my new place. Uh, but Let's just a little bit of imagination, I'll use some pictures. So what I did, just to show you, and, when, and then I'll show you, I'll tell you why I call it the knight uh, look, not the warrior look, for example, is I use two braids, and as you can see, they are asymmetric, meaning that this one is thicker and this one is thinner. Now, this is just personal preference, of course. Um, you can do whatever you want. If you are into symmetry instead, you can, do, you can use both with the same bunch of hair. This is how you change it. Um, but I personally like this because of the fact that, you know, in, in Italy, northern Italy, Milan-style art, tend to have asymmetric pole joints and I like following that same style with my hair. So um, one thing I do is just leave them hanging like this. This is one possibility, just asymmetry giving a different look. Just to show you from the side. And the reason why I call this a knight look and not a warrior look is because braids give men and women, if you will, a more sophisticated and a more noble look. So considering that a knight is, a, uh, is part of nobility, is aristocracy, mounted nobility, then I think that this gives a good idea you know, of your long hair knight to give the idea that you are um, a, a kind of a sophisticated upper class um, combatant, so to speak. Now, you can also vary the length, if you want, uh, by simply having this beginning up here. Now, this way it will kind of um, increase the length, the overall length of the braid, even if they finish at the same place, um, it will look uh, longer. This is just personal preference. Now for the beard, as far as I'm concerned, you have two possibilities. If you want a more of a king look, like a sturdy king look, then this kind of beard is okay, I suppose. It's just a couple of weeks for Italian me, as it were. But, you know, each person has its own. Um, but for the night look, I tend to prefer to have maximum three days beard, which would be this one here in the picture. It's just my personal preference. Now moving on to the Viking look, um, of course the beard, the longer, the better. Um, as a matter of fact, if you have really, really long beard, which I never managed to have because I also do a Roman reenactment for which I occasionally shave, um, because the Romans prefer to have clean, um, a clean shaven look, consider it, because they considered um, beards to be barbaric, uh, at least until the Imperium. Uh, what I change from the night look is I prefer to have my braids on the side with a Viking. I don't know why, but it kind of gives more to the idea of a rough uh, situation and not someone who's really paying attention or having servants making and adjusting their hair and brushing. You know, um, I'm just having these like put more on the side because and, and, and make them thicker and, and bigger. Now moving on to the elven look, here it's fantasy, so we don't really have to, to worry about historical um, accuracy and we can do whatever we want. So for the elven look, I change a few things. I always use these kind of braids, like front, front, coming from the front. But what I do, I either have two different possibilities. Either I take the right one and I bring it up. So creating again a kind of a even more sophisticated form of asymmetry, which from the left you don't, you don't really see much of a difference, but from the right you do. All right, so here we are for a closer look. Now another thing you can do that I really like to give it even more of an elven look is to take both my braids and link them together, connect them. And I actually don't even need anything to do that. I just use my own hair to fasten them together. Now to reach the perfect elven look, apart from the pointy ears, you also need to shave, at least for men.
All right, so do you have long hair? What kind of styles do you use? Please let me know in the comments below and what do you think about these ideas that I had uh, with my own um, medieval and fantasy looking uh, styles. Thank you very much for watching and remember, the Metatron has spread his wings. Goodbye.